Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech, and this is my iPad Pro. Now a lot of you have asked me what's on it as far as the apps, and also how do I use this as my main device when I'm not editing videos, because this is what I use most of the time if I'm not editing a video. And what I do use is the smart keyboard. I use that because it has a lot of the same commands that a MacBook would have, such as command space, you can search, copy is command C, paste, command V. You can use all of the shortcuts on a MacBook with this, so that's something I use a lot, plus it's a cover and a stand all in one. Now the other thing is, this is a large iPad, it's 12.9 inches, and the display is basically the same size as a 13 inch MacBook Pro. So here's my 13 inch MacBook Pro, I'll put the iPad on top of it, and you'll see that they're very similar when it comes to the size. So it's amazing how close they are, and I like this device, its portability is amazing, and if I'm editing a video, then I can use a MacBook, otherwise I use this. So the reason I use the iPad mostly is the touchscreen and the ease of use. It's got fantastic speakers, so if you want to watch a movie or maybe watch YouTube, whatever, you've got speakers, you've got the headphone jack, and the only problem really is the lightning connector if you want to import media, but then you just get a dongle, and I'm so used to that with the new MacBooks with the USB-C to SD cards. I do the same thing for the iPads. I have lightning to SD cards, so if I need things like that, I can do that. Now, as far as using it, the touchscreen obviously makes things nice. I can leave a video playing in the background, go to Safari, and you'll see I had Safari and Auto Trader split screen. I'm always looking at some car, whether or not I buy them, I don't know. I do have a, a thing for Sobs, but I, I don't currently have one, but I've had them in the past. But I'm always looking at different cars, even if I'm not going to buy them. And then I'm using messages. So if you've got an iPhone, your messages will carry across to your device. And you'll get your messages here when you're not using your iPhone or your Mac or whatever you're on. So I'll go into Safari maybe mail, go into the messages, Twitter, I'll use this from time to time, and then split screen or anything like that. So I like the interaction with it. I pay my bills on here, it's got a full web browser, and you can put Chrome on here if you don't want Safari, you can use Firefox or whatever you'd like. And then you've got all your similar iOS apps as well, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. So you've got things like Flipboard that you can use if you want to go through news or Apple News or whatever you want. So this is the main page I use, and then on this page, there's some things scattered all over the place. So I don't use a ton of them, I really should organize them. Things like Filmic Pro on the iPad just don't make sense, and I just haven't gotten rid of it. So Overcast I don't use on the iPad, I use those things on my iPhone. So there we go. And for some reason I can't get rid of it. Oh, there we go. Could have been an iOS 12 bug. So these things I don't really use on my iPad, so I can get rid of them and they just auto installed most of the time. So you'll see B&H Photo, if I need to pick up something like a memory card, I've done that recently, and then consumption things, mostly Netflix and Amazon Prime, but mostly consumption here. And see, this isn't even organized either. Move that back around. And then games, of course. So games, there's some games I haven't played a lot, recently on this the room two well room one two three four basically i've played through all of those uh grim fandango a little bit bridge constructor world of goo i played through a lot of those on here and then this page again the room this is so the way i organize this just so you know is main used apps stuff and another page of apps i'm going to use regularly normally this would be page two so monument valley two one of my favorites the Room, Civilization 6, I haven't played that on here actually, it's just there. Uh, LumaFusion for editing, it's here if I need it, if I'm on the go and I don't have a MacBook with me and I need to edit a video, maybe an update comes out and I need to edit and film, I can do that. And then Roller Coaster Tycoon, one of my all-time favorites. And then benchmarking tools, uh, it's a little scattered and disorganized, unfortunately. I need to go through and spend some time and fix this. But graphic editing things, uh, I don't use the pencil too much, but... Here's some things that I could use it with uh, if I want to edit some videos, or photos rather. And then some more apps here. So I'm always playing around with these and seeing what I can find that's a little bit better, but as far as using it regularly, I just find that it works really well for how I use 
things all the time. I like to scroll through web pages. I like using my finger to do that. And then maybe I want to look at something. I can just zoom in really quickly and I don't have to think about it. Whereas with something like a MacBook, I can't just do that. I have to use the trackpad. And while it does work well, I like this experience myself, especially because you can hold it closer to your face if you need to, and then whatever you need. So it's basically a MacBook for me that's touchscreen. And that's really all it is, although I'm not, I wouldn't be a big fan of a touchscreen Mac, but I would like the feature if it was possible to have it on there or if Apple would add it. But to go through here, have basically my iOS apps and what I use from a Mac. I don't really use my Mac much differently. I have a couple things for recording voice when I'm making videos and editing with Final Cut Pro. If they brought Final Cut Pro to the iPad Pro, I could probably just use this quite honestly, and it would do a great job. So I'm waiting for the next version, whenever that comes out, maybe in a few weeks it looks like, with thinner bezels, the 120 hertz display, and I can't wait to check it out. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any other questions, let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.